Hey guys, on this tutorial I will create a 3D abstract object in Cinema 4D. The project file link will be on the description and on Patreon. It will include also the studio scene I'm going to use and the material. So I have opened a document in Cinema 4D and I have added the studio scene as well. I start by creating a spline, so I go to the spline tool, I click and hold and then take the spline pen. You can also use a sketch pen, which is pretty handy if you are using a pen tablet instead of mouse, but I will take the spline tool for now. I create a curved line like that. I can make it smoother if needed with the spline smooth tool. Then I will go to the shape object here and I will select the landscape. Let's move it so we can see it. Okay, with the object tab selected, I'm going to change the size to 300 centimeters for all the boxes. The rough arrows, I will make it 30%. The fine ferro 60 and the plateau level 67%. Now I'm going to select the bent object here and then spline warp. Next, drag the spline warp under the landscape with the arrow on the cursor pointing down. Then, with the spline warp selected, go to the object tab below and change the axis to plus Y. Drag the spline, which is the line I created earlier, into the spline tab here. If the landscape object starts at the middle of the spline, then change the offset to minus 50%. In order to make it look a bit smoother, you can add the sub subdivision surface from this icon here. Now move the landscape into the subdivision surface. Then open the size menu and on this diagram add a new point in the middle. You can do that by holding the command or control key on a PC and click in the middle. From here you can edit the thickness on the subject. Because the landscape earlier started at the middle and I changed it with the offset above, I am going to adjust the middle point and break into the bottom. Then adjust the curve like that. Below I will adjust the spline size diagram too. But I will lower the sides points now. Ok, then below the size diagrams, you can adjust the rotation. I will move the right point and make the curve a bit smoother. And below as well. You can adjust the diagrams and see how the object changes but I think it looks nice like that. Now I'm going to add a material to the object. I have created one here earlier, this material will be available in the project file if you'd like to get it from the link on the description. But as a general view, I have added a yellow color and adjusted the reflectance. It's quite easy to create materials, I have another tutorial for it, I will leave the link on the description to see it if you'd like. Ok, so I drag and drop the material to the object. Let's render it quickly.
The lights are also included on the studio scene I added in the beginning, but if you'd like to add any new lights, just click on the light icon at the top and add a new one. Ok, so now let's see the render settings. I'm going to change the size to 4K, so 3840 by 2160. I will keep the resolution 72. On Save tab, I will change the file format to JPEG, and here you can select the save in location. On Anti-Aliasing, I will change it to the best. And then from the effects you can add ambient conclusion and global illumination. This will make the result more realistic. Ok, and now I click render. This will take some time depending on the render settings and how fast is your computer. But that was it. Let me know in the comments below how did you find it and if you will create your own versions feel free to tag me on social at AngeloKNF. Hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next one.